I want you to be consistent. There's some guy out here who says that this guy in Africa is another second Jesus. Try to. Well, is he? He's. Let's just self-reference. Do you see my line of reasoning? No, no. It's if you're going to bring an evidence, if you're going to bring, okay, let me clarify then. If you're going to bring an evidence, which is this book says so, so it's true. Mm. The Quran says it's from God, so it must be from God. Yeah. Do you go with this line of argument? Same logic. I don't say the Bible. I say there's something in it. Look. The New Testament says this. Is it true because it says so? No, it's true because it's historical. It's historical. I just gave an example that it's not historical mm. because it's made up prophecies. How can you trust this author who made up? Look, that's a detail. That's a fine detail. It's important the detail because the detail tells you who's a liar, who's a fabricator, who's an inventor, and who is telling you the true accounts. You look at the big picture first, and you look at the big picture. And then the small details may well fit in later as your understanding grows. Okay. When your understanding is small, all sorts, of, all sorts of things don't fit. But when you get the big picture first, then slowly you can begin to put the little bits into place. If you get the big picture first, you'll be in a good place. Okay. Better place to put the. When you say about the big picture, let's go to the big picture. The big picture. Who did Jesus worship willingly, sincerely, humbly? <laughs> I'm not aware whether he worshipped anybody, he prayed to his father. I didn't ask you a prayer. <laughs> Are you saying Jesus didn't worship anyone? Mm -hmm. If you fall down on, his knee, on your knees and you're falling on the ground, is that a worship? What are you doing? So you're talking about Gethsemane. No, no, I'm asking you about you. He's praying. When no, you... Obviously not. Okay, is prayer oh, worship? If I kneel on the floor, when you I'm pray to my shoes. Okay, when it you... doesn't mean I'm worshiping Okay, listen, you. listen. You have to be listen. like... No, no, come on. You, you're more than this. When you pray to God, is that worship? No, prayer is not necessarily worship. It's not worship. It's so what is worship? It's communion. Okay. Jay, it's just saying, define, Jay, it's just saying this Define worship. Prayer is no. supplication. Forget prayer. And define worship. Worship is to acknowledge um, the deity of someone else in the, in the religious okay. sense. Worship. And worship okay. On the human so, okay. so worship is acknowledging the deity of someone else. When you're asking for definitions, well, but, I mean, I think I, because is. you are very reluctant to admit Jesus worship, so you won't know what worship is. So we have to define the term. So according to your definition, worship is acknowledging that someone is a deity above you. Did Jesus acknowledge someone as a deity above him? He acknowledged his father. I did ask you about. Whether well, acknowledge his father, mother, or brother, did he acknowledge as a deity someone above him? <laughs> did he acknowledge himself as a deity? You see, you are an intelligent person, and I asked you an intelligent question. This is not a joke. When we have a discussion like this, it's not a joke. In the day of judgment, when God will ask you, remember yes, the discussion. You judge both of us. When, exactly. Remember the discussion. Yeah, I know. You can't tell out. I took as a joke. <clears throat> this is not a joke, my friend. It's serious. Did Jesus acknowledge? As a deity, someone above him. He acknowledged himself also as a deity. Okay. In oneness okay. To so I'll ask you two questions. Did Jesus acknowledge himself as a deity above him? You can read the gospel. Yourself. Excuse me. You can make your own decision. Listen, listen. You've read the gospel. I ask you. I read the gospel. I'll ask you two I've read questions. The two questions. My conclusion is. Listen, listen, listen. Jesus claims two things. He claims he has a father, mm -hmm. which he is God. But he claims also. Did he worship he his father? One with the. Did father. he worship his father? I don't believe. No, I don't think he worshipped. Did he father. take his father as a deity above him? Yes. So he worships him, as you define. No. According to your definition, if you take someone as a deity above you, that's worship. Well, you're tripping me up on my own definition. So, I mean, okay, are you not happy with that definition? I, will, I give you a chance to redefine worship. I'm not going to redefine it here and now. No, no, I give you the opportunity. You know what? You can backtrack. Define in, worship. In sense, define the, worship. In a, in because you know what? God willing, you cannot escape you the worship of Jesus from his God. You're, looking at, you're just playing with words. I'm not playing with words. Yeah, we will establish here, you God willing, up, today, up, that up, Jesus worshiped his God. It's not a question of what it is. It's not a question my friend, of getting the Oxford Dictionary. My, the Oxford my, Dictionary my says friend, worship listen, is, listen. What the Bible says says is, you shall worship no one except the Lord thy God, only worship him alone. And who is that? And who is that? Who is that alone that you shall so worship? Jesus accepts worship, he's accepting So he is that only God? Oh, okay. now I know. You know what? You know what? Thank you for clarification. So now I know. He identifies himself no, no. with the Father. Thank you for clarification. Mm. 
So now I know. You can believe it or not. Listen, listen. Well, I choose to believe it. No. You choose not. Here, my surprise then. Mm. What I've learned from you. Mm. That the only one that is worthy of worship is Jesus, mm. not the Father. As you said, the only one who is worthy of worship is Jesus. So, the Father... No, no, no you're playing with words. You're playing uh, with words. Wait, 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 wait. Let's start again. Mm -hmm. Who is the only one worthy of worship? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Melchizedek, who? Who is the only one worthy of worship? God is worthy of worship. No, who? Who? God the who? Right. Well, in Deuteronomy, it says M Moses spoke with God, God the who? face to face. God the who? Do you believe that? Excuse Do you me? believe Moses spoke listen, with listen. God There's face There's no to point face. going like this. I ask you a direct <laughs> it's question. Very important. It's very important. Is the Father of worthy of worship in the Christian Trinity? Of course he is, yes. Okay. Did Jesus worship that father because he's worthy of worship? No. Next question, is Jesus worthy of worship? No, yes, he no, is. no. Did, did, That's why we did Jesus worship... worship? I don't agree with that. Excuse I don't me. Agree with that. That's one minute. Do you know what direct question is? Jesus and the father. Did Jesus worship the father? As I say, I don't think he did, no. Okay, so you don't think he did? I mean, I'd like... I did he say... Okay. I need to think it very carefully, but I don't think Okay, so. fine. Did he call his father my God? Yes, he did. <laughs> Why does he call someone his God? Ah, Would you God. call him your God? Let me. Okay. Is he worth, okay, he's worthy? No. He's is God. he worthy of being calling God? No. Is you're anyone? Playing, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. I know you think it's no, no. Impossible. Stop there. Is anyone worthy of calling my God except God? You're not ridiculing me. No, excuse me. You're ridiculing. Excuse me. What the God? Listen, listen. Says. Now, if you want to ridicule as you, as you, Jesus Christ, as you, as you realize, you. as you realize, your you know side tracking is not going to help you're because sometimes I'm very direct, right? You're not listening to this guy. Thank you. You need, you so, need to let him have. So a word. what I'm saying is this: mm. Is anyone worthy of calling? My God, except God alone. Only Jesus. Exactly. Right. Only so, one person is so when Jesus God. calls someone my God, yes. who is he calling to? The yes. one who is worthy of worship. And if someone calls him God and he doesn't rebuke him, then Jesus is accepting the same identity. So which two he gods. Did. Two gods. Thank you very one much. God in one. To clarify. What is. Okay. In mathematics, you can have group theory. You have three things, yeah. three objects. Oh, I like, I'd love make, to hear about then mathematics. they make one, and yeah. they make one, one unit. What? unit. One unity. One unity. Yes. Okay. So even in mathematics, you have examples okay. which are comparable. Okay. Fine. Comparable. You know what? I can't. Don't I think. I think. Don't, don't you have a wonderful job of help, helping me don't explain. Don't ask me to explain. You've done that in Trinity. mathematics. I can't do it. No, you've just done it. No, I mathematics. Get, I get an illustration. It's not I've explain. learned from explains, mathematics. Do you know what I've learned from your example from mathematics? Gives you comparison. He's not going to listen to you. No, no. I have learned. No, no, I have learned from your math examples of mathematics that you have one God called the Father, one God called the Son, and one God called the Holy Spirit. So you have one God and one God and one God, three gods. These three gods together, they are one family. That's what you believe in. You believe in one family of three gods. You're telling me what I believe in. <laughs> okay. Is father... I, I never call him a family. Excuse me. Is father and son a family? I never, ever call him okay. a family. I'm going to ask you another so question. So you're putting words in my mouth. Is father and son family? No, they're not family. Father and son is not family? No. Oh, I see. They never talk about Do you have children? They never talk about it. Do you have children? Never mind my... Never mind that. It's, okay. It's, 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 I, have, I, I have children. They're my family. Anyone else disagrees that father and son are not family? Why didn't he go family? In? family. Only Christians, for some reason, don't understand family. That's why the family breaks down in Christianity. Yeah? Is that right? Because Jesus. Is that right? Your family breaks down because you don't. You have no concept of what a family is. It's not the reason at all. Okay. Okay. So when you have one. Okay. The Jesus is he exactly same God like the Father God? Yes. The only exactly thing you can know about nature. God. Bro, so I'm you sure you'll agree. So you're not going to answer that question, are you? I'm you're going to talk about the only thing you're going to know about God yeah. is you have to go to the church and so sing the hymns. You know? Let me ask you. I asked you, ask you a question. question. How do you know about the nature of God? How do you, as a Muslim, understand the nature of God? God has revealed in the Quran. Revelation. Yes. Thank you. Good. Revelation. In your revelation. The only way you can know about God Good. is by revelation. Good. In your revelation. The only possible you know way what? you will ever understand the nature of God That's fine. is if He reveals it to you. Listen. I, if He doesn't reveal you know it to what? you, you'll be in darkness. Do you believe there's three gods or one? He said, why do you 
I believe what the gospel reveals. Okay. Where does the gospel reveal that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one? It's a million dollar question. I'll empty my pockets and give you whatever I have. If you can find a verse, because you said the revelation, where do you have revelation which says that the three are one? It's constant. It's constant. Where? Implication. No, where does it say that? You imply. Jesus word says, I am the resurrection and the life. Who can be the resurrection Excuse me. and the life? Excuse me. Except God. Now you're waffling. Only, only now you're Jesus can you know what? Now you're waffling. Now you're waffling. Why? If you say only revelation tells us about the nature of God, mm -hmm. so if I say, you know what? I read in the revelation, your revelation, without father, without mother, without beginnings, without end, without any genealogy, someone who lives forever. So I would say, ah, oh, that's God. So, yes, you believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Melchizedek. That's revelation. But you will say, no, you're mistaken because it doesn't say Melchizedek is God, even though it attributes the all the description of God. So you need, you'd say, you need clear statements that Melchizedek is God. Where are the clear statements in your revelation that there's these three are one. I understand why you do it. Are you going you to? It, are you going to? Are you going to somehow? You, have you know, habit you know, finding the most difficult things that's not difficult in the thing. Bible to understand. Hello. And of course, I don't understand. So you're going to waffle again out of this. Where in your revelation that there's three are one? I'm picking you up. I'm okay. Picking, okay. You know what? I've given you one example. No, the Jesus. three are one. Did you hear my question? Where in your revelation that the three are one? Well, there's countless examples. One if read, example. If you're reading John's Gospel, yeah. nearly, nearly every Every single page or chapter, Where? John's Gospel. Let's do that. There is by implication. No, not implied. Don't imply. Like Melchizedek is implied to be God. No, because Jesus. A, okay. So you're Am I right to imply? So what you're wanting, what you're wanting, okay. you're asking me. Excuse me. Is have Jesus say, "Look, guys, I am God. Worship me. Look, I can do this. There's a stone. Pow! It's jumped away. So why? Why not? Jesus. Why not? Do that. Why was he afraid? Moses. Was he afraid? Do you, was he afraid? Do you ever find Jesus being afraid? Hmm? No, no, I'm asking you, Jesus. you said, oh, why are you expecting that Jesus should say, I'm God and worship me? Why because not? That's, because that's why what not? You want. That's what you're no. asking. Okay. In you're the... asking me for okay. incontrovertible, incontrovertible evidence that Jesus said in black and white, there's, he what, like, set down the disciples and says, right, I want you to understand, this is what God is like. There's the Father, which is up there. There's me, the Son. And then there's the Holy Spirit, which is like the sort of spirit that goes around. And they went into some long theological debate with the disciples about it. It's not his style. He do you know something? Do, do you know something in response? In the Old Testament, you don't have to worship God. Suppose God didn't say, I am God and worship me. Would anyone be at fault not worshipping him? Sorry, repeat that. If we find that was in, in true in history, that God never said in the prophets that he sent, that I am God and worship me. He never said even once. And someone didn't none worship. The, none listen, of the prophets said that. Listen, listen. For the sake of argument, if God never made clear with the message to the prophets that he sent, that I am God and you should worship me, he never said that. And you find people, someone didn't worship God. Would that someone be at fault of not worshiping God? Still don't understand the point. I'm right. sorry. Listen. Sorry. Imagine now Make we are. Fear. Imagine now we are at the time of Moses. Yes. Imagine. Okay. Moses comes along yes. and says, "You know what? Speak nicely to your friends. That's all I ask for." Um, and I didn't worship the God that Moses brought because he didn't say that he's God. He didn't say that you should worship me. Would I be at fault of not worshiping God? Because only thing Moses comes along and says, "Be nice." I didn't consider Yahweh to be God. Sorry, I didn't. I, I, I must be going to, I don't quite understand. You don't quite understand. Saying. Okay. I don't quite. Listen. Get it. You're saying. If, yeah. Explain. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What what the brother's saying is, you know the Old Testament. Yeah. Right. Right now in the history that we're in, God did say, "Worship God." Correct. He said that in the Old Testament, doesn't he? One God. What, what the brother is saying is, imagine hypothetically that in the whole Old Testament, nowhere does it state to worship the one God. Okay. Now, if a man came along and he done all the nice little things, but he never worshipped God, yes, would he be? Should he go to hellfire? Yes or no? Is that right? And God wanted worship, but he didn't say it. Do you understand? So he's never been told. No prophet has ever come. Yeah, but God wants that you should worship him, but he didn't say it. He never said it. Would you be at fault? Yeah, Would you go to hell for that? Well, the example might be Abraham. Would you accept Abraham as an example? And Abraham what? Because there was no prior prophet to 
Abraham, as far as we know. Mm -hmm. But Abraham was brought up in a culture which was polytheistic. We did Abraham worship God. But he worshipped God. Why? So, because in his heart, somewhere in his heart, he knew there was one God. He knew what God told him. Possibly, yeah. God told him. Yeah. God told him. God told all the prophets. So now, if God tells all the prophets what he wants people to do, to worship him, this is just thing to do. Because if someone is not told, you cannot then blame them for not doing it. For example, if you don't tell your children, don't go out today. And they went out, and then guess what? He started punishing them, saying, you know what? No more games, no more nice food. That wouldn't be just because he didn't tell them. They would say, look, you didn't tell me that. You need to tell so that someone for, for what not to do or not to do. So Jesus, if he was going to be God in any shape or form, he needs to tell people he is God. So it is only reasonable to expect that Jesus should say, I am God and worship me. But the fact that we don't find anything like that tells us volumes, tells us volumes that Christians are in a desperation to find statements and stories where Jesus is God. What you're, so, what you're saying is exactly what the Pharisees came to Jesus and said. They said, look, are you God or not? And if you are, show us the sign. No, they didn't say that. You make this up again. Where? Where did they say that? Show, show, the show, show us the verses. But that's not what it says, brother. Tell me what you think it says. No, no. No, what I it think it's not saying that. We should go by what's written. Your understanding is wrong. Hmm? What do you think it says? Okay, we'll go by what's so what we're saying is this. No, no, come on. This verse is very important. No. The Pharisees came to him and said, look, are you the one? One what? They challenged uh, one what? constantly. No, no, one what? The Messiah. We're not talking about the Messiah, we're talking about God. You're mistaken. So now... Well, God as well. No, I mean, no. That's why they took a Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did they ever say, you are God? I was Come it's frustrating because, I mean, all we do is... It's frustrating that you don't know your Bible. No, no, it's really frustrating that you don't know your Bible and you came to you come to preach about it. you constantly? At one point, listen, at one point, the Jewish, the Pharisees came along and says, you are mere man, you blaspheme, you make yourself God. No, listen. Hang on, I'm giving you the verse. Do you know what the response of Jesus is? For what things, for what reason do you call me that I'm God? Yeah? And then Jesus defended himself, just look, isn't it written in your law that you are called gods and the scripture cannot be broken? I, I only said I'm Ben Elion. So what did he do? He defended himself. He says, look, in your scripture, in the Psalms 82, God calls you are gods to who? human beings. So if God calls you God, is that a blasphemy? That's not a blasphemy. Jesus said, I didn't even say that. I only said a son of God, like the Christ Jewish people believe, they're the sons of God. David well, is the son of God. I know you won't listen to me, but there is a perfect explanation of that. But I know you won't listen. Uh, you're mistaken, go ahead. No, you won't, you won't listen. I am listening. It's far too difficult. No, I am listening, go ahead. No, I'm trying to think. There's another psalm which David... No, no, explain that one. Jesus. I want to listen. Can I come back to it? No. It's too difficult to explain. No, no, no. I would like you to... It's too complicated. Prove to you, I, I want to prove you wrong that I will listen. Go ahead. Right, when Jesus says, you are all gods, or when, when the psalm says that, David, and the Holy Spirit speaking through David says, you are all gods, what it means is you are all gods in the sense. I say with a small g. It means you there's make. There's no small g. You make yourself. You're mistaken. There's no small anybody, g. Anybody. There is no small no, g. I know. That's why. So I, don't bring it up. That's, that's why I said I don't want to go into this because you. You're, no, no. It's Hebrew, I want to listen. Don't have I want I to listen. Don't so don't life. bring things which is not correct. So there is no small g. It says Elohim. So God is saying you are Elohim. So is that a blasphemy? If you were called Elohim by God, if, if you be a blessing. Your life, in a sense, you, God has given you the attributes of God. You're made, in, you're made in His image. So God can make God. I am made in His image also, and all of you. So God can make someone God. It's to the extent that you are made in His image, you are like God. So God can make you. you so you are like God. Can you? You are God. Okay. In a sense, you are so a God. you can become because God in heaven, right? No, not that God. Are you a Mormon? Are you a Mormon? Obviously, this is where I said I don't want to go into this because I know you will make this. I knew this is what you're going to say, but it's quite clear. That no, you Jesus believe that. Not saying that you are on a par with the heavenly Father. It's quite clear. Was Jesus he? Was that. he on a par with the heavenly Father? Jesus. Was. No, that's not what the New Testament says. 
It says, when everything is done, all the judgment is done, Jesus will hand over everything back to God so that God can be all in all. Now you're quoting Paul, you're not even quoting Jesus. Now. I'm quoting the Bible. Do you not believe in the Bible? Do you believe in your Bible? In your Bible, Jesus says, saying that you believe listen, in the Quran. listen, listen, it's you believe in your Bible, which says, after nothing, and you understand that, Jesus is God. Mm. You know, what can I say? What can I say? But he's, he's, what can I say? Well, who do you know who says, I am the resurrection of Lord? Who do you know who says, I am the light, light of the world? And that makes someone God, he, right? He, he and that makes someone God? He will never walk in darkness, but only God can do that. Only God can raise them to life. The only God says, he believes okay, he's, can God say, I can of myself do nothing? I can of myself do nothing. Can God say that? As a man, yeah. No, 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 no. Can God say, look, every time you have a clear statement that Jesus is not God, you will say, ah, Jesus is speaking as a man. Do you see the hypocrisy? It's not hypocrisy. This is called hypocrisy. No, no, no. You find Jesus. So, it's not hypocrisy. Okay. In the day of judgment, Jesus will worship God or not? It's not hypocrisy. You know, answer my question. Because Revelation. I accept gospel as revelation. You know what? One and, day, and one day hypocrisy. when we meet God, you don't accept. Remember it. the day. You don't accept the gospel as, in, as revelation. It's made up stories, isn't it? You accept the Quran no, as revelation. Isn't the gospel made up stories? Should we go back well, again you, you to establish think, that? You can think that Not think. We established that. We established that in speaker's no, no, corner. You no, you haven't established. That. Okay. It did. Yes. Did Matthew not make up these prophecies which didn't exist? Made up stories. Look, I can't go into you now about historical evidence that the gospel. You have no true. historical evidence for Matthew's gospel. When Matthew's making up stories, it's he's making up stories as he's going along. Where is the prophecy? Doesn't exist. Look, there's, there's books written about historicity of the gospel. Listen, you will you fail. You don't accept it. You don't know what? Your because argument is this. You know what? If the My professors know it all, but I don't. I just have no, blank faith. Professors are not going to be there on the day of judgment, and that's the fear. That, that's the fear you should have. I'm not going to go not by afraid. this brother's words. <laughs> only, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Very I'm important. Not go only by his words. If I only went by his words, yeah, I'm at risk because I haven't checked the sources. I haven't looked actually what's written in the book. When someone approaches me and tells me in the Quran it's written this, I have a, oh, I better check that because it's my soul at risk. So when the brother here is saying anything, you shouldn't be. Our job is not just to deflect everything he's saying. You should take at least one argument and go and check the Bible yourself. This is logical because when, when the day comes when we are in our grave, yeah, Jay Smith is not going to be there, and I'm sure Brother Mansoor is not going to be there for me. Do you understand? It's going to be me and God. And that's when it's going to matter that what's written in there is it actually fact or am I just following hearsay? And hearsay is the danger, my friend. So I'm not going to say to you, yes, believe everything he's saying because that's not what he's saying either. What he's saying is question. Just like you would tell me, if you've got a problem with the Quran, you would come to me, tell me the problem with the Quran, and you would say to me, question this, there's an issue. That's fine, that's fair. And I should go away and logically check it, not just fight my call.